Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number seven. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys about the where clause. Uh, and more specifically, we're going to be talking about wildcards and the like comparison or comparator, whatever you want to call that thing, right? Um, so yeah, uh, basically, if you haven't watched the video on where clauses, you need to go back and watch that because we are going to be making use of a where clause in this tutorial. And it's going to make a lot more sense if you've already seen one of those videos. And just before we start off this video, I want to send a shout out to my sponsors at Dev Mountain. So Dev Mountain is a coding bootcamp and their website is linked in the video description below. Go ahead and check them out. Uh, if you are planning on becoming a web developer, I know that sometimes learning at home can be a little bit of a struggle and you might want to just speed up that process a little bit and become a developer even sooner. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and check out their website and they can teach you everything you need to know to become a web developer, an iOS developer or a UX designer and they'll do it within 12 weeks. And if you do contact them, don't forget to tell them that I sent you. Now, let's jump into the tutorial. So uh, yeah. Over the past couple of tutorials, we've been making use of the where clause a little bit. And uh, in this tutorial, it's gonna be more or less the same thing. Uh, but the table that I wanna work with is the products table. So let's type in our query here, select everything from, and make sure that's capitalized, otherwise our boss might fire us. So select everything from uh, the products table. And I wanna add in a where clause over here so we don't select absolutely everything. Um, and the where clause I wanna make use of is gonna be where the product name, product underscore name is like something else, right? So the like comparison uh, allows us to like basically compare when the name is, is like a certain piece of text. So for instance, uh, if the user was typing in the word light, we could compare a product name where that name is equal to or similar to the word light. Uh, so if I copy this and hit go, you can see right now we've got a little bit of a problem. Uh, zero rows have been returned and that's because whenever you're using the like comparison, you're probably also gonna wanna make use of something called a wildcard and that is actually this percent sign over there. So when you put one of those in, it basically means, uh, yeah, it's gonna be kind of like this word, but there might be some stuff after this word, right? And uh, that's what that uh, percentage sign means. And most often we'll make use of two of them. So we'll have one afterwards and one before, and it basically means, okay, there might be some stuff before the word light, there might be some stuff after the word light, but the word light is the word that we're looking for over here. So let's copy this and hit go. And now you can see I've got two results. Um, so we were searching for the product name and where the product name was like light. And it just so happens that I have two products that are like the word light uh, and they're both lightsaber. One happens to be lightsaber blue and the other one happens to be lightsaber red. So both of them have the word light in the name and that's why both of them showed up because we're searching for anything with the word light and it doesn't matter if there's something before it, it doesn't matter if there's something after it, as long as it has the word light in the name we wanted to find it. All right, so let's take a look at another example and I'm just gonna go back over to the SQL tab and search again and I think something else I can search for is where the product description is like a certain something. So I think most of the products on my website are using one specific description. So let's look for the product description. And um, let's just say, for instance, somebody told me, hey, you're using a lot of dummy data on your website. Uh, there's a lot of lorem ipsum showing up everywhere. You probably wanna get rid of that lorem ipsum. So you might wanna find out what products are using lorem ipsum. And uh, yeah, uh, a query like this might be quite uh, good to throw in there. So where the product description is like the word ipsum, let's just go ahead and see how many products are actually using this. So let's hit go and you can see, wow, there's actually quite a few results here. All of these product descriptions are using the uh, text lorem ipsum or have ipsum in the description somewhere. 
Uh, but this does give us a little bit more time to play around with this query because now you can play around with the wildcards. And uh, let's say I search for Ipsum without a wildcard at the beginning over here. You can see we land up with zero queries and that is because uh, basically, like I said, the wildcard means there might be something before this and there might be something after this, but the word Ipsum definitely needs to be there. So if we hit go, uh, the word uh, Ipsum is here and there is some stuff before lorem Ipsum or the, the word Ipsum and there is some stuff after the word Ipsum. So yeah, uh, basically uh, when you have wildcards like this, it just means that you've got the possibility of returning the most results. Whereas uh, when you have um, a wildcard only at the end, obviously the sentence has to begin with the word Ipsum. So if we type in the word lorem, uh, let's copy this and hit go. You can see all of these sentences start with the word lorem. So there is something after them. And therefore this one will also return results, but only if uh, it starts with the word lorem and there happens to be some stuff after it. So yeah, the key thing here is that I just want you to realize uh, that placing your wildcards in there is important and where you place your wildcards in the query is also going to be important. I think for most of us, uh, searching with two wildcards is usually the best option, um, but there might be times where you only wanna find um, something that begins with the word and then uh, has some stuff after it. Right, so that is the end of the video and I just wanna send a huge thank you to these guys who are my patrons and they contribute $5 or more every month. And uh, yeah, if you guys like watching my videos and you wanna see more of my videos, you wanna help me make more videos, then consider becoming a patron because that is really gonna go a long way to helping and uh, that is all I have for you guys in this video. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like and share this video because that's also really gonna help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.